Here comes the field for tonight's third race as they pray to the post. Superfecta wagering in the third. Number one is Bowl of Strike. Owned by Bill Miller, driven by Terry Thompson, Jr. Two is Tickle Me Wick, owned and driven by Roy Burns. Three, Nuclear Bid, owned by Joe Wilson and Rainsman Brad Hanners. Four, Classy Mink Coat, owned by Sharon Lane. Ty Van Roden will be aboard. Five, Adorable Dawn, owned by Charlie Geiler and Letha Brooks with Sandy Beatty. Number six is Brandy Shane, owned by Stan Hathaway and Justin Hall. Seven is Lady Irish, owned by Johnny and Shirley Stant with Bill Long, Jr. Number eight is SF Countess, owned by Robert Stapleton and a driver change to Herbie Brown. Number nine is CIKG, owned by Kathleen Prickett with Mark Evers. Ten, Nats Bud Light, owned by Terry Gillen and John Meeks. David Miller will be in the sulky. That is the field for tonight's third race. We're inside five minutes till post time. Field four, race three, moving through the clubhouse turn. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Brandy Shane takes the lead. CIKG moves up on the far outside. Followed by Classy Mink Coat between the dueling leaders to third. Quickly on the rail. Tickle Me Wick fourth. After that, it's Bowl of Strike. Nats Bud Light nicely out of the second tier to sixth. Moving into be seventh, Nuclear Bid. Eighth up on the outside, Lady Irish Adorable Dawn. And at the end, it's SF Countess. This is a total slugfest here. Moving by the opening quarter in a quick 27 and 4. They're off that top turn and racing past the stands to the half mile pole. Tickle Me Wick, 60 to 1 bomb, cuts this one out. Driving up on the outside, second and challenging the Alphabet Horse. CIKG now gets the lead. CIKG on top by a length and a half. Here's Classy Ming Coat where she likes it best, grinding on the outside. Tickle Me Wick will skim the pylons in third. Around the clubhouse turn, Brandy Shane to fourth. Nats Bud Light being carted up on the outside fifth. Underway, Lady Irish Bowl of Strike trying to find something in her spare time. In between horses, Adorable Dawn, Nuclear Bit is ninth. SF Count is tenth on the outside and 59. They're down the back stretch. Classy Mink Coat on the outside with a short lead, but here comes Nats Bud Light zooming to the front. Nats Bud Light looks to bid this field an early good night as she opens up about seven lengths right now. This is going to be an, a laugher now. 128 and 2 around the far turn. Nats Bud Light is on top by 10, no opposition in sight. Nats Bud Light on top by a good margin. Lady Irish is up on the outside toward the rail. Classy Mink Coat. As they straighten away by a sixteenth of a mile, it's all Nats Bud Light. She's got more than a dozen raw and a side of slaw in hand. And in command, it's Nats Bud Light. Here's Bola Strike on the far outside. Going to be close for second and third. Your attention, please. The judges are going to place the inquiry sign up on the infield board. It will involve possible interference at the head of the stretch between horses five and three. Adorable Dawn and Nuclear Bid, possible interference at the head of the stretch. In the winner's circle, Nats Bud Light, three-year-old Bay Philly by Towner's Big Guide of Ann's Loring, owned by Terry Gillen and John Meeks of Maslin in Canton, Ohio, trained by Jeff Cox, driven tonight by David Miller to a convincing victory here in 157-1. Number 10, Nats Bud Light, the unofficial winner. Photo and inquiry center up on the infield board. 